and now we get to talk about hot air balloons. Hot air balloons work because hot air is less dense than regular air. So they float for the same reason that a helium balloon or, or a hydrogen balloon does. It's Archimedes principle. Because the hot air is less dense, the balloon displaces air that weighs more than the balloon does. It's displacing the cooler, heavier air. Fundamentally, you need to know that at the atomic level, heat is the motion of atoms. Heat is the motion of atoms, molecular motion. Atoms are constantly moving. Everything is made of atoms, and all of those atoms are moving all the time. So if you have something like the top of your table, it looks like it's just still. And here's the legs of the table. And, and according to what we mean by the word still, just our everyday usage of the word, the table certainly is still. But the table is made up of atoms. So we can picture these atoms as little tiny dots, but in reality there are trillions and trillions of them. But not only are they, are they there, the table is made of atoms, those atoms are shaking back and forth all the time. And that shaking of the atoms, that molecular motion, that is what heat is. If you were to warm the table up, the atoms would shake harder. They would move a little bit faster and move a little bit farther in their spaces. And the same thing happens in a gas, such as air. When you heat it up, that increases the molecular motion. The shaking, the increased movement, causes them to take up more space. So the gas expands. Because the gas expands when it's heated, it's less dense. There's the same amount of atoms there, but they're moving faster and taking up more space. So it's less dense. So a hot air balloon would look like this. You've got the balloon section, and has usually has an open bottom, and there's some ropes here, and there's usually a wicker basket down here, something fairly lightweight. Instead of a big metal cage, wicker is fairly uh, strong for its weight. And then there's a, a burner, a device here that will, usually a propane tank, propane tank down in here, and then a burner that will shoot flames up into the balloon. And then the balloon itself up here, the, the material of the balloon, they actually call that the envelope. And then this piece is the burner. And you obviously need, need a fuel tank with it. And this is the basket. Or, or sometimes on balloons that fly really high for long trips, like uh, some people took a, a transatlantic flight in a hot air balloon. And instead of just a basket there, they had what they called a capsule, which was closed up. They could seal it up. But those are the main parts of a hot air balloon. And the burner obviously generates a lot of heat, and that causes the air inside the balloon to heat up. And so it expands. And one of two things can happen. That can actually expand the balloon. The balloon can inflate to a little bit larger size, or as it heats up, the air can tend to just come out the bottom of the balloon. Either way, the air inside the balloon, as a result, is less dense. And so there's an upward buoyant force because of the surrounding air uh, being displaced. And that air is heavier. The air displaced is heavier than the balloon, even with the basket and everything attached to it. It generates enough lift to lift all of that up into the air. So looking at something like this gives you a good idea of how much the air weighs. You can picture the, the balloon itself, the balloon or the envelope as they call it, is typically made of nylon. So it's not really really all that heavy. Although you get something that size, it's big enough, you know, it weighs, you know, m many pounds. Plus the, the basket and the, the burner and the fuel tanks and a couple of people. You can imagine this is hundreds of pounds of stuff. Well... Think about the size of the balloon and how much air is displaced. That's how much the air weighs. That much air weighs literally hundreds of pounds. We don't typically think of the air weighing anything because we don't feel its weight. If you hold out your hand, you don't feel the air in your hand pressing down. But the air does have weight. And enough air to fill a typical hot air balloon, in fact, weighs hundreds of pounds.
Here's a picture of some hot air balloons flying over a suspension bridge, which is another great example of a lot of good physics, by the way. Here's a balloon being inflated. They usually start inflating the balloon with a fan, and they just get an extension cord and a, at a big powerful fan. You see it right down there behind that guy's legs. And it just blows a bunch of cold air into the balloon to get it to start to inflate. And then they turn on the burner, and the burner burns propane gas, kind of like your grill, kind of like a, a, a liquid propane grill, a gas grill. But it, the gas is under pressure, and this obviously burns the gas a lot faster and hotter than a grill. But because it's under pressure, the gas blasts out here in a certain direction, and they aim it into the balloon. And so the heat obviously goes into the balloon and heats up the air inside the balloon. And the bottom part of the balloon is typically made of some special, very flame-resistant nylon actually not called nylon, it's called something else, but it's uh, chemically similar to nylon and very, very heat resistant and flame retardant. So they, they do need to be careful, obviously, though, still where they aim it so they don't burn the balloon. And as it heats up, it starts to float upward and stands more upright. There's a picture of a couple of the burners. This one has two burners, but they're only firing one at the moment. That's looking upward into the interior of the balloon. Here's a picture from the Albuquerque Balloon Festival. My brother actually lives in Albuquerque and he usually goes to this. Every year a lot of hot air balloon enthusiasts go out there and they launch literally hundreds of balloons at one time. Here's another picture from Albuquerque. These are two smaller balloons. They call them cloud hoppers. These aren't as big and you see they just hold one person down there with no basket. Just, um, this guy over here on the right looks like he has a little frame of some kind that he can, can rest on, a little seat to sit on, but this guy's just strapped in, hanging there. And they can make these balloons in all different shapes and sizes. There's one that looks like Darth Vader. And here's one that looks like a giant birthday cake or a giant wedding cake. And this isn't just a, a cake-shaped balloon. This is a hot air balloon. You see there's the basket down there. People are flying around in this.